With more than 60 years of diplomatic relations, China has proven a natural partner for Serbia, most recently as it strives to enhance its industrial, transportation and medical R&D sectors. In 2016, the Chinese president, Xi Jinping, made a landmark journey to Serbia's capital, Belgrade, to strengthen the two countries' friendship of steel. The iron and steel mill in the town of Smederevo, about an hour's drive from the capital, was an example of the economic hangover the country has been battling since the 1990s. But in 2016, the Chinese state-owned Hestil Group, or HBIS, gave the mill new hope with investments close to $350 million. It was from a stage in this exact location that the Chinese President Xi Jinping, back in 2016, announced that the reopening of this steel plant demonstrated the determination of both countries to deepen reform to achieve mutual benefits. I believe not only was management going to change, so too were the salaries, benefits and working conditions of every employee, a force that would resonate far beyond the mill. Head of security Vladimir Ilich had lunch with President Xi when he visited the mill, an experience he says he will never forget. You have been here since the Chinese investment to this plant. What has changed since then? Uh, this place practically had no future. With the arrival of the Chinese investors, we knew that this plant definitely had future. So I would say, you know, people's mind and people's confidence in the future of this place has been changed. Production level was much lower before the arrival of Chinese investor, so this place immediately came to life. Vladimir took me to the heart of the mill's operations, which has become much more efficient thanks to the Chinese-funded modern facility. By building this new facility, we will manage to replace the old four production mills with one mill that will have the same production output as the, as the old facilities. On the top floor is the master control room, and it was here that I met Milan. He started working in the mill back in 2013 when it was state-owned and on the verge of being shut down. Fabrici za sinterovanje bio dosta težak, sa stanovišta ekologije nije baš uvek bilo sve prihvatljivo. Bile su, bilo je dosta prašine i buke u postrojenju i jedva smo čekali kada će nas preuzeti neka strana kompanija koja bi imala neke planove da poboljša proizvodnju i da izgradi neko postrojenje koje će biti i ekološki prihvatljivo i koje će nam obezbediti budućnost. Now, Milan tells me, the new EU-compliant facility is very energy efficient, powered by sustainable resources. With these replacements to the old archaic lines, steel production has rapidly grown more than 100 percent to around 2 million tons a year, making it one of Serbia's largest gross exporters. This impacts the city and the livelihood of the entire city, not only the employees of this company. We are the biggest exporter that this, that this country has, you know, that, that also boosts Serbian GDP dramatically. Sure. So the big, the big change uh, reflected the Serbia on a national level when the Chinese investor came here and increased the production and brought stability to us. With much more efficiency in production, Serbia, a landlocked country, now needed to improve its transportation infrastructure to move that product to where it had to go. This led to further discussions between Chinese President Xi and Serbia's then Prime Minister, now President, Aleksandr Vucic, about cooperation in roads and rails.
a state-of-the-art railway line between Belgrade and the capital of European Union member state Hungary would bring Serbia's transportation infrastructure in line with EU standards and improve the facilitation of cargo and passenger traffic. Once complete, this 342 kilometers of track with a design speed of 200 kilometers per hour will connect the Balkans with the EU in less than three hours. China Communications Construction Cooperation and China Railway International are running the project and invited me to meet their team in the newly renovated train station in Novi Sad, Serbia's second largest city. This comfortable train journey now cuts the travel time between the two cities by more than half. Uh, this route, which opened in mid-March, is the second of three phases that will make up the 182 kilometers on the Serbian side of the rail line. This is a good connection and good example for the development of Europe strategy and also the One Belt, One Road initiative from China. Chi Fung Ren helps oversee the track work being done in Serbia and says the train is already incredibly popular. He takes us to the second phase of the Novi Sad station construction, where workers are busy building the additional platforms to eventually accommodate 14 tracks, 12 to service the local communities and two that will be dedicated for the fast trains to the border with Hungary. And how long do you expect this project to take? For here, the second phase of Novi station, it will be done by early next year. And for the whole uh, project, we think it will take at least uh, around three and a half years. Three and a half years, years to around. get to the Serbian border? Yes, yes. And then hopefully. Hungary will pick up the project and carry it on? Yeah, actually, on that section, the design is undergoing and the work, preparation works have already start. According to Serbian President Vucic, the entire line all the way through to Budapest is expected to be completed by 2024. And this can develop and strengthen the friendship and the cooperation between China and Europe. Meanwhile, China has also been instrumental in helping Serbia protect its population against the COVID-19 pandemic. As soon as vaccines were approved, China sent the country over a million doses of Sinopharm, helping Serbia lead Europe in COVID-19 vaccinations early on. And recently, a new 30 million euro Sinopharm vaccine factory was completed in Belgrade, capable of producing upwards of 3 million doses per month, enough for Serbia, the region, and anyone else who's interested, according to President Vucic. Broader cooperation has also taken place with Chinese biotech firm Beijing Institute of Genomics, or BGI, who have helped construct two FireEye testing laboratories in Serbia, expanding testing capabilities and expediating infection detection across the Balkans. In addition, BGI has also donated the equipment for the country's first genome sequencing center, located at Belgrade's Institute of Molecular Genetics and Genetic Engineering, a precious collaboration, according to the Institute's director. Up in the labs, assistant research professor Mariana Novkovic told me about the work the center is doing with COVID-19. Oh, this is the part for sequencing. We made up these uh, laboratories and uh, started scientific research uh, to follow up the uh, genomic mutations of SARS-CoV-2. If something emerge, we will uh, announce it and then we will see how to approach this new variant, if it's harmful or not. She says that research indicates that the pandemic is slowing down for now. We run the samples here and after uh, 48 hours for SARS-CoV-2, we got the results, which we then uh, analyze by different bioinformatic tools. Sequencing really is fascinating. These machines are able to determine the entire genetic makeup of a specific organism or cell type, which can then help scientists track the spread of a virus or diagnose and treat disease. 
There are three other sequencing lines here with equipment donated by BGI, including one that focuses on prenatal diagnostics. Here we are doing a prenatal testing for the most common uh, chromosomal aberrations uh, for the child, so we make sure that the child is healthy. This is really something that is going to be the next level for, for our prenatal diagno diagnostics in IMGG and in Serbia. So this is uh, one step forward for us in uh, science. The colleagues from BGI really helped us a lot, so we think this is only the beginning of our actual collaboration. I leave Serbia with a newfound respect for this country, one that is still reeling from a volatile past and trying to find its place between East and West. 30 years after the difficult times, lives are slowly improving, be it by the growth of jobs, the increase of people-to-people -people exchanges, or the betterment of public health, Serbia is becoming a defining player in the region. The two countries' comprehensive strategic partnership has shown how leveraging one's strengths can boost economic development and improve lives. While Serbia continues its journey towards European Union membership, China is proving to be a reliable friend, there to support Serbia's chosen path to prosperity.